Welcome everybody to the <laughs> stamp show on the internet, Talking Mayhem Mania. I'm Matt, your favorite master and ruler of Mayhem Mania. And with me, um, are we going to have Tina on? Well, if she wants to jump in, she can. Mad Mike is here. Hi, Mike. Uh, hi, Matt. The Riz is here. Hey, Riz. Hi. And Center Square, Chad the Shad. Yeah. Flaming bag of shit. Oh, flaming poop by mail. There's actually a homepage. This is lovely. Let's see. Buy now. The um, it's only twelve dollars. That's a heck of a deal. <laughs> All right. Chad, uh, expect some mail soon. <laughs> <laughs> expect some mail. It'll be frozen solid. <laughs> I like that Chad is getting all the heat for this. No, that's oh, awesome. Tina, <laughs> Tina, Tina, I get it. Tina, Tina, I will gladly to, take all the heat for this. Tina, to quote the great philosopher John Cena, um, his time is now. Your time will come. His time is now. Um, to be fair, that match it. would have probably been on heat anyways. Anyways. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wow. Yes. Okay, Riz. <laughs> okay. All right. Everyone just wants to make me. That's fine. I'm oh, just, that's good. I'm just gonna up my Patreon to a hundred bucks and just see what the fuck I can do the last week. <laughs> I mean, we're not bringing back the gauntlet, so just like I'm letting you know right now. Like, I mean, it'll be nice, but I mean, it's like not not gonna be like that nice. That so. stimulus money's gonna hit, and everyone's gonna be whipping. <laughs> <laughs> I got four hundred dollars. I got four hundred. I got. 500. Hey, I got my Biden bucks here. I got my Biden bucks. The presidential like, battle royal. This is your intervention, hun. The iconics are not getting back together. You just need to accept. Yeah. It. Um. Excuse me. Not a year and a half ago, we saw the Brothers of Destruction versus DX. I guarantee, twenty twenty two, the iconics are getting back together. Hey, Mike. You Mike. know what? You know what, Mike? You, that, you know what, Mike? You have that picture from New Orleans that you took with them. Mm -hmm. That yeah. will be forever in your memory. That's in true. your heart, you know the iconics will be together, and that's they, pretty much where they, that's going to stay. They made me the third iconic. I, I don't talk about that much, but it's a true story. It's a true story. Space jail. <laughs> that, that, so, thing, that thing's got busted lock. Anyway. <laughs> it will be fine. The best part. You is, gotta get both of them out. Yeah, that's that's, the, that's the, out. the real. That's the real gem of the whole thing. Is I specifically had two tickets, and it costs two tickets, and it's going to take two spins to get both of them out. So that's fine. That's, that's you know. What, you know next what week, next week, Billy. The week after that, Peyton. You know Where what's going to be funny? Next week, Peyton. The week after, Lacey Evans. Yeah, <laughs> but, the, be funny. but the really funny thing is, even if Lacey gets out, can't use her. Can't use her. Can't yeah, use her. No, yeah. She's like no. double space jailed now. So you just give her a, a comfier place to go. <laughs> no, 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 Chad, Chad, Chad uh, I think you missed it before. We said Space Jail has the finest healthcare. It's like Super Canada in there, so she's actually living very comfortable. No, she should. Do, we should just keep her there. Lock that, lock yeah. that in. It can't be, can't be uh, spun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> so, so why were you guys? Uh, everyone was kind of like, or, 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 whenever we, uh, whenever Brandon decided to book Becky. Lynch, Oh, just we didn't, like, we didn't. I thought babies had. Becky seems good. Uh, she seems fine. Yeah, we don't know that. We don't know, she wants to know. We don't know what she two. is. Why don't we, we know. ask? Why don't we ask Tina? She would probably have a better knowledge of this than we would. Well, I'm not the superior athlete like Becky is, but I know it does take a bit of a uh, couple months to get your body like recovered from that. Um, but at the same, on, but I'm going to talk on the other side of my mouth. Did, Becky was pregnant when she took on Shayna at WrestleMania. More than likely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if she had the kid in like no, if she had the kid in like December, <clears throat> she was maybe just a few weeks along. Um, actually, you know what? I just did some research. The whole just, is just, a research. Just yeah. looked on it on her Instagram. She's not that bad now. I think she can take people. Well, I'm, 
I, I, think in, the, I think at nine months she could have taken Pete. And Riz, Riz, gave her, Riz gave her the ocular pat down. She's cleared. She's Here, ready to go. <laughs> she's she, she passes the eye test, as all the NBA scouts say. Oh, Good to go. But yeah, I'm, I'm like, she looks like, well, she's in the gym, obviously. Uh, but it lo- she looks like she can probably go. I will, I will accept that triple threat match. Well, I mean, I'll accept oh, the match. Nice. I just. I just didn't know, you know, what what Becky Lynch wanted to do because it, I I don't want to book anyone against their will, like you know. Yeah, but the thing about it is, um, is like we have to, we have. I, I guess we just need clarification on what would be considered as in Mayhem Mania universe. I would say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I mean, look, I I, I figured like. It, it, we're always like dealing in like the hypothetical of Vince McMahon just wants to have Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. So here's a giant pile of money. Can you stand in the corner while Tony Storm and Rhea Ripley wrestle? Yes, she can do that. I mean, I, I think I'm, yeah. fair enough. That's where that's where I'm at on that one. Hello. Sorry about that. My phone just went off. Hope it's not Dexter Loomis abducting the Iconics. <laughs> no, it's just Brandon saying thanks for letting him be part of the show. Thank you. Uh, I was just, uh, I was doing a little bit of research. I'm checking on uh, Brie Bella's timeline between the birth of her child and when she was in the first Women's Royal Rumble. I think it was a tight window. Uh, so I'm trying to check on the dates real quick here. Uh, so like, you mentioned, like we mentioned yeah, before, yeah. Maria was like a couple months. Yeah. I Maria? Mean, yeah, it's just. Yeah, we were just curious as to her availability. That's all. That's all. No, no, nothing untoward there. We we're just no, no, no. Oh, I was I'm just curious. Just now, you know, I'm just seeing like. I mean, curious. It, initially, it was just us going. Is she okay? Is she good? And then, then we're like, okay, this is actually a pretty cool match. Yeah, but I have to say, uh, with, with the exception of one match tonight, everyone's matches we made were pretty great. Yeah, I know where you're going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, I did some... some research of my own too, Mike. And the last real world match between the Iconics and the Riot Squad is when the Iconics broke up. Yeah, I know. So we've seen this match before. Tina did us all a wonderful favor in shooing it out the car. You know, I, 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 me personally, I don't care if the match was cut off. Yes, I'm disappointed. No, oh, obviously, obviously, yeah. disappointed. It, it happens. It's Mayhem Mania. That's gonna happen. But Chad, see, you, you took the knife, you twisted it, and then you went upwards. Oh, like, I tried to get it out with another knife, but <laughs> like <laughs> honestly, now there's two knives in now you. Now there's two knives it's... in you, and I tried like maybe like a scissoring action oh. to try to make some space, <laughs> but they just kept j- just jamming. And you just started and like and twisting it clockwise, yeah. and, then, and then counterclockwise. It's like righty tighty, lefty loosey, or something with knives. I think <laughs> something like that. Uh, oh, so uh, we haven't gone down the card yet, no. have we? We should probably run down the card. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Just uh, I'll run this card real quick. And uh, please uh, feel free to chime in with your yays or boos. Um, cinematic match The Fiend and Alexa Bliss versus Johnny Mundo and Taya. Uh, we have uh, Tommaso Ciampa versus Cesaro. Okay. We have Raquel Gonzalez versus Beth Phoenix. Tony Storm versus Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. Pat McAfee and Rob Gronkowski versus Adam Pierce and Bad Bunny. Samoa Joe versus mm-hmm. Aleister Black versus Karrion Cross. Keith Lee versus Pete Dune versus Roman Reigns. Mm. And finally, Asuka versus Mako Satamora. I'm a little upset none of us gave Austin Creed what he wants. You know, I we tried. would be the people that could deliver on such. Yeah, a honestly, I, I completely I forgot about it until right now because. Once I heard Taya signed over the weekend, that's immediately where my mind went. But I'm like, oh, we could have definitely done Woods versus Reckoning. Honestly, we still need to. We still could. Yeah. I thought about putting yeah. uh, putting uh, our truth instead of Bad Bunny, but I thought I'd keep it all celebrity type, non wrestlers, non active wrestlers. Yes, famous. Plus, they're the mat. The oh, uh, skills kind of match Adam up. Got to get him both. 
Pierce and McAfee are kind of they, they would gel well and, and Gronkowski is really not that great as a wrestler but he would match up against bad they can jump he, off of yeah, he has jumping off he hasn't off. had one match no neither is bad bunny so they kind of like yeah. they can jump off the top rope and land and do the, do the you, spots but McAfee you can see go with how Pierce, shit probably. scared Gronk was to do that spot. Oh, and, Vince did it. He yeah, felt, he, yeah that's like, the only reason like, Gronk did it. A 75 year old Vince McMahon did that spot, and Gronk was like, I guess I can do it. This no, I'm giving you hard. a pile of money, bro. This is too hard. I'm going to go back to Tom Brady, do nothing throughout the whole year, then catch two Super Bowl touchdowns. With yep. an MVP. That's how it is. Hey, he, he, won me a, he won me some money, so I'm okay with it. A Super Bowl champion and a WWE champion all in the same year. Mm-hmm. Uh, 24-7 champion, but still, still champ. Pretty impressive. Um, I, I'm just looking forward to the Pat McAfee cutting promos while Gronk just, like, spins around in circles around the ring. Around. It's a good combination. <laughs> Pat it's McAfee a nice combination. Sell me on that match. I, okay. I'm pretty sure that match is immediately getting discarded next week. Don't matter. <laughs> pretty sure. It's Somebody has a veto. You know, yeah. you say this, but then, you know, you go back and you look at the Iconics versus Bryant squad, and, and I'm telling you, like, that match got made, like, out of a spasm of panic. Yeah, right? it's because <laughs> and, like, I, just, I just wanted to see the Iconics booked, and I couldn't, like, the only reason I booked that match in the first place, I didn't know it was going to be on this that week. I had no right. plan at all. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's how some of these matches, that's how some of the early weeks are, you know? Who got rid of the fatal four way? That was boy. Was that rid of that? Was that I think that was me? Disappointed. That was yeah, that was was really yeah. Then you made you made a good replacement match, match. but boy, I like that fatal four way. I really did. Almost vetoed it, but your 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 replacement match was adequate. (laughs) So Chad, Chad, (laughs) this this is the question. Since we have you on. Yeah, sure. What, yeah. What are, you, what are you looking for in your veto? Like, are you doing it just matches you don't want to see, or people you want to cause pain to, or is it a case by case scenario? It's kind of a. It's kind of a how I see the veto would best fit. It's not really my feelings, and it's not really what I want to see, <laughs> and it's not really whose feelings I want to hurt. It's, like, it's not hurting his who's feelings. Feeling do the veto? Well, who does the veto want to hurt? Who who would it inconvenience the most? You know, who does Chad want to hurt. No, not not me. It's not me personally. The veto. No, has no the, veto, the veto. The veto. The veto is part of the game, and the game decides. And it's time to play the game. Is that what you're the ebb and flow. So if the things are getting game, out of like. Yeah. If I'm on here and the things, or if I, or if I'm watching and things are getting like real kind of wacky or something, like, oh man, that would be the perfect time to throw a veto in there, start jamming people up, jam like them a, in the next a, week. Like that one time where we have like five tag teams in one match for no reason. Yeah, it's it. It kind of the game kind of self governs. I'm just the, an entity, <laughs> a, a freeway for the veto to travel through and get off at whatever exit it pleases. So I'm just a what well, a conduit. I am a are veto you, are, conduit. Wait, are, are you are you the passenger or are you the driver? You lost me on the on the highway. He's the car. Yeah, he's I'm the, the car. Yeah. He's the car. So who's I'm driving? The car. I'm, I'm the ride chair driving. taking the so taking the, the veto to his destination. <laughs> We're the passengers. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the conduit um, to the veto. I, I can't. So it's these just things like were the thrust onto me. I didn't ask for them. <laughs> the veto is just going to speak to for this power. Bestowed upon was thrust me upon me yeah. in a Matt, random in a random prediction for the Royal Rumble. Matt, I have a question: Is there an elimination chamber game? We should do one, huh? I yeah, I mean, elimination chamber game. Oh, can you imagine if I win some of that? Jeez. <laughs> elimination chamber game will be. The winner of the SmackDown Chamber match, the tiebreaker, and then total time versus Roman. The, the tiebreaker is the total time they last against Roman. That's a good one. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. Winner of the Chamber and total time against Roman. Ooh. Okay. I like that one. Okay. We're gonna see. We're gonna see if Roman Goldberg's this one, or if he uh, <laughs> they have a real match. That's, they that's, a, the the table. Table. that's a real good one. I like that one a lot. 
that, that's that's fat because I I wonder how they're gonna do that. Like if they're gonna have the match inside the chamber, and it's just a normal one on one match, or if it's gonna be like later in the night. They're gonna take it. They're gonna immediately run backstage to that extra ring they have. <laughs> the pictures found. <laughs> Go back here. So I everybody in the practice so, ring. So everybody's picking Cesaro. So how long do you think he's gonna last against Roman? Do I know that's gonna be the fun part? Oh, I'm not picking Cesaro. I'd like it to be Cesaro. I ain't picking him. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll do. Um, well, we'll see how we can do this. Well, we can only go two tiers of. Uh, of winning here. Well, we'll just see who whoever wins, or or you could do who does Drew McIntyre last eliminate to retain the WWE title <laughs> to retain the title? Because we know no one's winning that match except for Drew. Does Miz cash in his money in the bank? Not doing yeah. any guess knows. We're gonna do winner plus total time versus Reigns, and the uh, whoever gets it right and whoever wins the uh, tiebreaker, uh, there will be one winner, and that winner will get to send someone to space. What's the what's the tiebreaker? We'll do the uh, the tiebreaker is total time versus rings. So oh okay, with the winner, we'll have one winner, one ticket to space jail. That's the elimination chamber game, and then we'll uh, we'll think of another game for fast lane. You know, Price is right rules on the time. Pay per views. So hmm? we doing Price is right rules on the time. Close to should going we do over? Price is right rules on the time? Close to not going over. It's pretty mean. Yeah, we'll do Price is right rules on the time. Ooh. Don't come in here with your one second. That's, that's <laughs> rough. Yeah, <laughs> one dollar. One. But I mean, here's the thing: that match could be ten seconds. It could, could be. be very short. It, You're right. It could, could be. be fifteen minutes. <laughs> it's very possible. <laughs> it could, it could be, be 10, ten seconds. You just don't know what they're going to be up to. Hell, so if Jay Uso wins, it could be a finger poke of doom. It could be three seconds. Wow. So, somebody might dollar you with two seconds. <laughs> But, but hey, that suck? But hey, if you're the only person, if you only, if you're the only person who picks Jey Uso, and he wins the match, and he gets yeah. the finger poke, you don't have to go to the tiebreaker. That's you're, true. You're right. scot-free. So. Although, although, if someone tie breaks and says a two-second match, I would like to shake that person's hand because I don't know how that happens. Except like, <laughs> right. like bell rings, low blow, <laughs> ding ding, they ring that, ring and that the bell, arm ring that bell, like, winding up. Like he'll have to be like. Ring the bell once. It's, just, it's a spin. It's like, ring the you bell. Know, you know, ring the again. Sad thing? <laughs> I could actually see that. I could see like Daniel Bryan first out, goes through the entire elimination chamber, fights off everyone, and he's exhausted. He's beat up. Roman gets in the ring. Roman stares him down. They hold the belt up. They ring the bell. Roman kicks Bryan right in the dick. <laughs> Yeah, that's the match. The so like, the, like the referee like takes the title, does the turn to like hold it up, and while he's holding it up, Reigns just like boot. He yep. turns around, Brian's on the ground, ring the bell, one, two, three. And then Roman does that weird like hold hold your opponent's head against his thigh type thing while he looks down <laughs> on him. Kind of weird. He starts to talk. I, 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 I believe, I believe they the call it the guillotine choke, yeah. but okay. Heyman's in the back like. like yeah, I I think we need to ask Chad a little bit. We need uh, we're running out of time, but we need to interrogate Chad more about his true feelings about Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman shtick. Because <laughs> I've got some questions now. I, anyway, I like the all. I like the head of the table stuff. I think it's really really uh, different, and I like it. I, like it. I, I wanted the Rock to come back and say the table that you're the head at. I built that motherfucker. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> it's coming, house. isn't it? Then they say next year they want to try to have for next year for Hollywood. Okay, uh, only one more year of uh, Roman. <laughs> on the, uh, yeah, one the, more se- year of Roman the season finale of Young Rock is going to be Rock at WrestleMania with Roman Reigns. <laughs> what do you think of he just throws that in in one of those interviews? Since he's already made like Jumanji Five, can't honestly, like, honestly, honestly that'd like, be hilarious. And then there was that time I beat Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. No, <laughs> next year yeah. is <laughs> next year is in Hollywood. Next year is Dallas. Oh yeah, yeah. So oh, that the entire, entire right. the entire the um season of young rock is just a giant promo promo for the rock versus uh, roman reigns at wrestlemania that's it that's the cliffhanger for the season we're like we're we're like uh, we have damn it why didn't you come up with nicknames for the different for the four different rocks on the show is there gonna be a scene in like the season finale of young rock where like Miami University rock meets like baby roman reigns and like pushes them over (laughs) so that's Um, gonna happen 
They're God, all we, they're all like infinity rocks. We we do, to, need, ah. we do need <laughs> like hurricane rock. Well, no, I, I'm thinking. Hurry, oh. Um. Oh God. Oh, we keep working on it. That's your homework for this week. We gotta get out of here. Thank you everybody for hanging out with us. Mad Mike, Chad the Shad, Chris plays games. Tina the, was here. The infinity rocks caught me. I'm sorry. That was like <laughs> the infinity rocks. Yeah, the infinity uh, rock. Sort of okay. Oh, the, time, the, the time the rock. The, whatnots. We the thank space all of rock. You. Thank you for supporting Mayhem Mania. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Catch up on the damn lore. Do your homework. And you, too, might be a great success at Mayhem Mania. Good night. Stay mayhem This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.